Yo guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can spin the lucky wheel more than once in a day. Using this method will definitely allow you guys to get the podium vehicle much, much faster. And I definitely recommend getting the podium vehicle this time around, as it's the half track, and the half track is a really, really good vehicle to have. Very armoured, and it's got some good weapons on it. Definitely a vehicle you want to try and get for free. So with that out of the way guys, let's jump into it. First of all guys, I'm going to show you the dirt and time. I mean you can obviously see the half track in the casino, but I like to give that extra proof anyway. So we're just going to come down to the system settings and then go down to time. And this is going to tell us the exact day we're on and the time zone I'm in, etc. So as you can see, it's literally today, the 21st of May. So now that's out of the way, we're going to go back into the game. The first step is to head towards the casino and set your spawn location to either last location or the casino penthouse if you do actually own a casino penthouse. If not, it's fine, you'll just have to set your spawn location to the last location. This is going to make it faster for us, as we're going to spawn right next to the casino or in the penthouse. Once you've done that, you just want to make your way over to the lucky wheel. Once you get to the lucky wheel, you just want to spin it as normal. You guys can use like a method for this, but it doesn't really matter. I've heard you can use like a 4 second method or something. Using that won't affect this glitch or anything though. If you think that's going to help you out, then definitely use it anyway. So now that you've spun the wheel, you will notice that the wheel will eventually start to slow down. Once it gets quite slow, you will notice that it's going to land on something. If this something isn't what you wanted, for example if it's not the podium vehicle, all that you want to do is just quit the application fully. I don't think it really matters how you do it on this one. could probably eject your disc out of your console if you really wanted to probably. But the key tip is to leave the game before the wheel stops spinning. So when the wheel is still spinning but very very slowly and it's just about to land on something, that's when you want to quit if you don't get what you want. I'm going to show you guys an example of that. So this is the same clip as before. So it is still slowed down. But once you see the wheel go slower and you know that the lucky wheel won't land on anything you want, this is when you have to quit the game. So it's nice and simple. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you actually win the lucky wheel for the podium vehicle and how to save it. But first I'm going to be showing you like a normal attempt at this and I won't be slowing it down this time. So we're just going to be coming over to the lucky wheel again and just repeating the steps as before. Spin the lucky wheel as normal. You can use a method for that remember if you think it boosts your chance of winning. And then when you notice it slow down, get ready to quit the game. If it lands on the thing what you wanted, then obviously don't quit the game because then you will lose the item. But if it's not something you want, you want to make sure you quit the game just before the wheel stops spinning. Quitting before it stops spinning makes it so it doesn't count as a spin but I have done this before when it's like just about stop spinning and then quit and that has actually counted towards a spin so I didn't get to be able to spin the lucky wheel again for like a day. But now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to win it and how to actually store the vehicle or whatever you got and make sure that it saves in the game. So as you can see we're at the lucky wheel again. Just going to repeat the steps as before. But this time you'll see that the podium vehicle will be the one which it slows down onto. You can sort of predict where the lucky wheel will eventually land after it slows down a little bit. So this time I don't actually have to quit already thing I literally just let the lucky wheel do its thing and then make sure you have a garage if you go in for the podium vehicle obviously as when you win it you will be asked which garage you want it in so just select the garage you want it in and after this you want to pull up your interaction menu you want to go down to accessories and you want to change your hat and your glasses this is going to force the game to save so that you won't lose anything if you do actually quit the game now you know the game's actually saved as well if you see the mini loading wheel in the bottom right hand corner of the screen when i saw the loading wheel pop up i then decided to go outside the casino and call my other half track in just to show you guys what it's like if you buy the right upgrades for the half track then no one will be able to shoot you when you're driving this through the front they can still shoot you from the side a little bit but there's like a weird glitch with the half track where you can shoot the windows out but bullets don't still go through also the half track can take around five rpgs which is decent armor to be fair especially against some mark twos so yeah guys i definitely recommend trying this out and trying to get this half track or just anything on the lucky wheel if you can be sure to leave a like if this actually helped you guys out feel free to comment down below as well and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with more gta online content finally guys thanks for watching